Welcome to another Safe Visual S podcast and uh, this time around we want to take a look at the two uh, Safish X devices that are out now, the Xperia X versus the XA2. And what we want to try out is just simply um, having, having a nice speed comparison test between those two. So first we will go into the AIDA 64 to see which uh, hardware we have here. Uh, one, two, three. As you can see here, pretty much the same time. Uh, let's take a look at the system. As you can see here, this is the XA2, this is the X, and you can see the various different uh, uh, information, just like, for example, the installed um, RAM and uh, the device number and model. And if you go to CPU, we'll see that uh, the X is running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 650 and the XA2 is running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 and this is an uh, uh, octa-core CPU so four fast Creo CPUs running at 2.2 gigahertz and four um, lower powered CPUs running at the slower 1.8 gigahertz and we have hexa-core on the Xperia X running four uh, Cortex A53 running at 1.4 gigahertz, the slower ones, and we have faster ones too, ARM Cortex A72s, and uh, yeah, those aren't uh, really running um, very good or very much because of the older kernel of this device. So let's go into software, uh, same fish version, as you can see here. This is the XA2 is running kernel 4.4.158 and this is running still version 3.10.84 which means this cannot utilize the power of all the CPUs as good as the XA2 can. And you can also see the Android HAL they both running on and yeah this is basically the difference between those two devices. Let's see if we can see any performance differences when it comes to starting various different things, just like for example the browser. One, two, three. And as you can see here, the browser on the right side on the XA2 launched faster. Uh, let's go to the next thing that we want to start. It's the media playback application, media playing application. One, two, three. And again, as you can see here, the XA2 launched a bit faster. Then let's go to the gallery. One, two, three. And again, the XA2 slightly faster. Let's close down the gallery. Uh, let's open up another application, social media application. I only have three channels on both. One, two, three. And as you can see here, again, on the right side, a little bit faster on the XA2 than on the X. Let's go to the Tutor application. One, two, three. And again, a lot faster on the XA2 in comparison to the X. Um, let's launch QuickDit, the Reddit client, one, two, three. And again, a lot faster on the XA2 in comparison to the X. So you really can see that these two years in different um, technologies is visible. The XA2 is clearly faster on uh, Savage S 3.008 uh, um, when compared to the Xperia X. Let's launch uh, G Potter. One, two, three. And again, a tiny bit faster in loading the UI, but as you can see, uh, loading the podcast itself was a little bit faster on the X. Um, let's go and open up uh, Gagbook. One, two, three. Oh, pretty close. And actually, I would say maybe the Xperia X won here in this case. Um, but let's do some multitasking. Of course, both running with 3 gigabytes of RAM. 
this should be no issue at all for them and as you can see here without any issues without any problems you can switch between the open applications and all of them are still running in the background so this is not a real big problem so overall you definitely can see that the xa2 is running faster this might be due to a newer kernel having the possibility to utilize the 630 snapdragon processor in a right way um, the xperia x is a slower device clearly as you can see but not by a big margin so it's not so that you would really notice it without um, a direct comparison so it's not like the two years difference make such a great impact that you would notice it on a daily day-to-day -day usage case just like me here uh, using the as you can see here the xperia x still as my main device and the xa2 as a backup device for now so this is everything for this little speed comparison hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye